Oh my gosh, I haven't been vlogging, but I wasn't really in the mood. But now that I'm in the mood, good morning, everybody. As you guys know, I'm at the damn hotel. I feel so much better. I'm at the Hilton, and it's pretty cute over here and nice. Um, I feel so much better. I feel so much more at ease. I don't feel like it's so much more. I don't feel like it's so much like hostility and drama. So, as you guys know, when you get surgery, you can either stay at a recovery house or you can stay at the um, hotel. And I was at the hotel, but now I was at the recovery house, but now I am at the hotel. So, oh my God, you guys, I'm walking around the damn hotel looking like somebody's little ass mama. Let me tell you, my grandma. She asked me, she was like, do you want, she asked me, she was like, do you want one of these little sets? So I'm like, yeah. So girl, why the night that she came to visit and it was time to go to bed, she had put this set on. So I was like, grandma, where my set? She's like, oh, I didn't know if you still want it because you didn't ask for it no more. I said, of course I still want it. So then she ended up taking it off and giving it to me because this technically was the one she got from me, but she didn't know if I was still going to want it. So then she ended up, I still got my garment on. You guys know I'm not really wearing pants. Can't really wear pants. I don't really feel comfortable. And it's kind of tight wearing pants anyway. So what I'm doing is I'm just wearing like a lot of dresses, robes, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yes, honey. Haunted child. Now, basically my surgery was done on a Tuesday. Today is a Sunday. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm moving around pretty good. And everything is pretty well. Um pretty much so far so that's how I'm feeling really good um but today yesterday I was just so bored and then today is Sunday so the clinic of course is closed so it's nothing really to do so tomorrow I do get my drains out but I did notice that and my drains been doing pretty well but then I think either my drain is starting to either not keloid but it's, it's a risen bump so I'm ready for that fucking drain to come out it come out tomorrow anyway though but technically if my drain had came out like Friday, I wouldn't have had a scar. Because whatever the hell happened between, what, I guess Friday and now, it just got a little scar on it. So, that's the only thing. I'm not too, like, pressed about it. Because I knew I was going to have some scarring. But, yeah. So, I, honey, has my outfit on. Like y'all see, I'm moving around pretty well. But I am going to take this daggone outfit off. I'm ready to go. I want to go to Sephora because I want some makeup and stuff. So I'm going to see if I can try to make it to Sephora. I was going to go to the mall, but then I thought about it. I was like, I was last night I was walking around the hotel because this hotel actually has a um, mini mart down there and like a little mall and shops and it's all this different kind of stuff. But, um, honey... I went, down there. I went downstairs to the mini mart and to the pool and after that I was tired so I was like oh no so I'm not gonna try to go to the mall because I was gonna try to go to the mall I'm gonna just try to go to the Sephora I do want to get some Rita's Ice or like an Icy but I don't freaking have one so and I don't see no Rita's when I looked on the Google Maps but right now I do feel pretty well I feel really good and I'm happy to be going home also we have a pop-up shop going on on Saturday with Glamazon Tempero Studio. You know, we is still running, honey. We had our year. We made it to a year on freaking what Thursday. So I'm so excited about that. I'm so happy. So you guys definitely go shut my website if you need some clothes. I just edited a vlog. Now the thing about it is I realized with these vlogs, I'm not gonna post these vlogs until they get to 30,000 views. Because it was like y'all was getting the BBL vlogs and I'm pushing, pushing, pushing out. But then the I mean the views was there, but it was just like, okay, we need some guidelines. So in order for the next vlog to come out for my BBL vlogs, the last vlog has to be at 30,000. If it's not at 30,000, then I'm just going to wait until it is at 30,000. So if it takes a month, I'm going to wait a month. Or try at least to wait a month. Right now, I'm just trying to order me some food. Though. I had Chinese food the other night. I know this is TMI, so you probably don't want to hear it if you don't. Screw. Up. But for the first time, I pooped. So I pooped. I had my surgery on Tuesday. And I pooped for the first time on a Saturday. So that was like my poop scale. And when I pooped, it wasn't hard. It was very easy and easy going, you know? It wasn't like some crazy, oh, my butt's falling apart, my stitches are busting. It wasn't nothing like that. It really wasn't. So if you're terrified about that, that was no issue. Plus they give you medicine that softens your stool anyway. And it isn't like diarrhea softening it. It just softens it. It doesn't like make it runny. But 
back to the regular, you know, schedule. When I was leaving, they gave me a post operations instructions guide. Um, basically, a couple things on a couple things on BBL. So I wanted to read these to you guys or let you know them. So um, number one. You can't sit for like three weeks after surgery. I, some doctors I heard longer. A lot of Dr. Fisher patients say three weeks. I believe I'm probably not going to sit on my butt after three weeks. I'm probably going to sit on my butt after maybe like a month or six weeks. Be honest, just to be safe. I might sit on my butt here and there, but I'm not going to sit on my butt like crazy. Um, next, those little socks that I had on, them compression socks, you have to keep them on for seven days. My seventh day will be tomorrow, so I'm cool. Um, I really have, I'm sorry, but I really have not been wearing them because I couldn't get them on because I have to bend down and my stomach hurts and then it's just so much extra stuff. I wear them though, but yeah, today I didn't wear them and yesterday I didn't wear them. Um, the garment that I have on the Faha should be worn for one month to decrease inflammation. It should not be tight and after one month you should exchange it to another garment, which is stage two. And this garment should be worn for a total of three months. I believe with that it's like on and off in a sense because I mean I'm gonna wear it don't get me wrong but if I have to wear a certain outfit for an event or something I'm gonna wear it because when I it's no difference in me being out of my I take a shower and then I stay out of my faha for like maybe an hour hour and a half because after my shower I like to air dry let every like incision on my body dry and just let my body recoup and stuff and then I put it back on it says a waist trainer should be worn, can be worn after six months. I seen this girl, she fucked her stomach up. Basically, she put her waist trainer on after three months, three days or two days after the operation because you figure your stomach is like sensitive. So if you want to, you can squeeze it. I haven't done this, but I can tell that if I wanted to, I really could squeeze it and stuff and mold it to what I wanted to mold. But I'm just taking it easy and doing what I'm supposed to do. But she did that, put a waist trainer on. When I tell you, it like... Her waist, don't get me wrong, it's small on the inner side. The waist, sorry, her waist is smaller because she put a waist trainer on, but her stomach does not look good. Cause you figure he took fat out of your stomach. So you have to give your skin time to snap back. Your skin is like a band, is like a elastic band, unless it's been stretched out. When you have elastic band and you stretch out to the point where it's like stretched and then it doesn't go back, one thing. But with me, I never had kids. My stomach really wasn't that big and it hasn't been elastic out. It wasn't stretch marks or nothing. So it literally is going to go back. But when you do that, like you put a waist trainer and you're crunching your stomach and stuff, then your stomach will actually set in that crunchy state. Does that make sense? So, no. I was, um, I will not be doing that. So, I probably will wear a waist trainer after six months. Because, after six months. And those foams I always have in is the lipo foams. And basically, they just keep the structure of your, um, your stomach. Make sure everything is smooth and, you know, just for comfort and stuff. It's, it helps a lot, though. I'm not really sure exactly, but I know for me, it was comfort. It also helped to keep my stomach flatter and it helped to like compress me a little bit more than the garment would do. Um, what else? Stitches are to be moved, removed in five to seven days. Right now I'm in my sixth day. So I technically got, got out yesterday, but yesterday was a Sunday. And then um, when the drains are removed for the first two days, you can apply Neosporin, triple antibiotic ointment and the dry gauze on top after day three you may clean with water and soap and place a dry gauze and then also it says the swelling usually takes about three to six months to dissolve which is new and you can resume to having sex after about three weeks it's a bunch of stuff on here so if you want me to i will show you guys this well actually i took a picture of it and it in so anybody else that wants to see it so you know what's going on and the whole time i'm standing is so nice like i like the fact that it has the airport system right here so you can just come look in case you need to change your flight all this other stuff it's real cute then it's over there it's like a little bar check in and then oh back here it's like a little mall area and this is only about 10 minutes from the clinic for where you get your massages or um what else your little checkups and all that kind of stuff so it's really convenient being here it's not the cheapest, but it also is not like the most expensive, but it's like a little mall on this side where you can shop and stuff. So 
it's pretty cool. My last massage. My life. Maria will never see each other again. freaking out of me I feel so much more comfortable without that freaking drain in me y'all don't even understand that shit was hurting but now I'm good so I'm about to just get a flight I mean a ride to the airport and I'm out this bitch cuz bitch I gotta go this is pretty much how I ride around so Every time I get in the Uber, the Uber driver like has to help me because if not, I'm not gonna be able to get in. So well, I can, but it'll be hard. So they normally open the door for me and then I pretty much just sit like this, like doggy style, or I can lay flat on my stomach, but I prefer not to lay flat on my stomach because I just don't want to. And then I just ride around, but I wanted to go, I want an icy. Sorry, there's a lot going on. But I went to IEC, so, so it's a couple different ways you can ride in the car. But, um, it's alright, I'm used to it now. Oh my god, so after that last clip, I was in the Uber. I got so sick, like I kept feeling like I was on a vomit. I was laying there, my head closed, my eyes closed, my head was like all over the place. So I was like, oh my God, I feel so sick. I feel so sick. I feel so sick. And the other night I had me a spray and it fucked my stomach up. So I did not want to get like a soda, but I knew I needed like a ginger ale, even though I don't know why all black people think they need a ginger ale. So when I get into the airport, I would, it was just bad because one, all my, like not all, but a lot of my subscribers was recognizing me. So they was like, Tay, Tay, Tay. And I'm never rude. So I was like talking to them, but I was still feeling sick. And I was like, Lord, please don't let me throw up in front of one of them. Cause that's what I felt like I was going to do was throw up. So they was all being sweet and taking pictures with me and stuff. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just go get some like pretzels from the Annie Ants. So I went and got me some pretzels and the ginger ale and I started eating it and then I prayed. I was like, please don't let me be sick on this flight. Please do not let me throw up. If anything, I don't know. I just do not like throwing up at all. I do not like throwing up. So then I'm like, okay, let me get myself together. So I went and got some pretzels and a ginger ale and then I came over here because literally this is not even where my boarding is at all but it's nobody over here because where i'm supposed to get on the plane at is so many people over there so i was like let me just sit over here so i'm sitting over here just getting myself together and my stomach is starting to feel better especially after i pray that prayer honey because i was about to say what in the world but i am on my knees basically honey they ain't catching me slipping i'm keeping this butt so also when i left the surgery clinical place they gave me a note basically that i could give the um people on the airplane and in the note it just basically says that i'm gonna be moving around a lot i'm only gonna be sitting down during the takeoff and sitting down during when we get up but other than that i'm gonna be moving around or i'm gonna be sitting in the seat like this or just doing all the other stuff but i don't know why i got sick i don't know if it was because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I got sick. I don't know. Because when she first took out the drain, I felt so good. But I don't know if, like, because the drain was in my stomach that when she took it out like blood and everything started back rushing back where it, you know the drain was at or what but i just started feeling sick but now i feel way way better thank god but i called my mom but she didn't answer the phone but i'm just oh my god y'all i really was going through i feel so much better now thank you jesus because i know it's because of you honestly because i was sick Tell them what I was about to tell you. What you about to tell me? I'm not telling you. Mama Glam's back, y'all. I'm just. Y'all been requesting her. Glam, you know, I just nerves. picked Glamazon on up from the airport. She all mad. We in line at Chick Fil A. It's like 20 deep. So 
this is a process, but anything for the glam girl. So, what you say? You don't see the shades. Y'all see the shades. Put a mini um, coupon clip in this and see how y'all do it. Rain, get in your car seat. Look, there's a new squad. London is out for redemption. Jamie is out for the throne. Jamie is out for the throne. Just like you. Yay. And E, she out of mine. As soon as I made it home, y'all, I got me a freaking bed. But. Oh my god, I think we have an issue because this is the next morning, but my mom washed my faja, but when she washed it, I think she shrinked it because last night, even though I didn't have my draining last night, my stomach was so uncomfortable. Like, I never felt that uncomfortable and I don't know how long. So, I was just like, what in the world? Why do I feel so uncomfortable? Why is this thing so tight? And I think it's because my faja is too freaking small now because my mom washed it. So, I mean, that the overnight one, go get one or do something because my body is like really hurting in that faja. Um, or try to stretch it. I don't know because the bitch is apparently like strong. Um, I'm gonna get my grandma to scratch my hair and grease it because I miss when she does that, honey. Rain got something on on TV, but oh my god, I don't know. Dan, come here, come here, come here. They ain't seen you. Come here, come here, come here, Dan. Hello. Sit down. They know my net. They missed you. They missed you, Moo Moo. Oh, Dan. Why are you hitting your mom? You are bad, honey. Y'all see how she do me? Hey, Dan. Oh, Moo Moo. Tell us what you did. Kitchen dirty. I'm just showing the groceries. Oh, what did I do? Oh, alright, y'all. Here her coupon is set up. How you feeling about today's setup? I'm feeling pretty good about today's setup. Today's um today's coupon haul was about a little over ten dollars. I don't have the exact amount because the receipts aren't. So that means everything she got today, she only paid ten bucks no. for. All this stuff. Like that. Yeah. So um, she I'm gonna highlight on some of the items that I got. So, um, do you want to go from this way or how you want to do it so you don't get mixed up? It, um, I'm not really gonna highlight everything that I got. Then highlight only what you feel like need be highlighted. Um, so my big savers was like the Lipton teas that were in the back. Normally they were $2.99. They were on sale for uh, $1.49 a jug. And then the coupons that I had um, actually made those be free today. Um, we'll move up to the Dawn Dish Liquid. The... They are normally, I believe, $2.99 as well. And they were on sale for two for five or two fifty for one. Um, the bigger sizes. And those ended up actually being about fifty cents after the, the dollar coupon, which doubled to two. And uh I had coupons for a few of the other things. Um like the potatoes. They were like normally I believe three sixty nine. And then the particular coupon that I had it actually doubled to make those about 69 cents. Um, I did have, uh, the eggs were an actual store sale. So that was just like a store promotion or store brand eggs. They're not like a, a name brand, but they actually were like 97 cents um, for each 18 pack. Um, and uh, I had a few other coupons that caught some in-store sales, which brought things down to my end amount of around, like I said, around 10 bucks. That's good for $10. Because if you do all them pieces divided by 10, it's like less than a dollar a piece. It's maybe about 50 cents a piece. I'm about, so yeah. Because I got like 20 some items. So good job, Mama Glam. We're going to try to get her channel, but we just working on everything, seeing what y'all like and what y'all don't understand what y'all do. But good haul. Good ho. 